It's over 9,000. AMD Ryzen Threadripper 9980X has 64 cores, 128 threads, and oh my god, is this thing fast with its clock speeds. And 128 gigs of RAM just runs stock at 6,400 mega transfers. That's bonkers. So that's what we're playing with today, the AMD Ryzen Threadripper 9000 line of CPUs. Oh, uh, yeah. Plural. And we've got the smaller one with just 32 cores. That's the Ryzen Threadripper 9970X. And there's big differences for this generation, actually. I keep hitting myself in the head. Now, let's back up a moment. So these are different sockets. This is a TRX50 style of socket meant for these very large and powerful CPUs and power hungry CPUs as well. 350 watt TDP. This is the AMD Ryzen Threadripper 9970X. 32 cores, 64 threads, and it goes for $2,500. Now, if you need a bit more power than 32 cores, then you can go with the Ryzen Threadripper 9980X. 64 cores for this one, 128 threads for twice the money, five thousand dollar CPU. And let's just say when you're installing a five thousand dollar CPU, uh, something that costs more than most people's entire PC setups, it, it gets a little nerve wracking. But we did it. Yeah, yeah, we did it. No problem. Back to the amount of power this CPU has. I'm installing Star Citizen, but let's go ahead and run Cinebench R23 multi core. This is actually kind of bonkers. Look at all of this speed, <laughs> all those threads, and it still hits 112 thousand points on Cinebench R23. I've, I've never seen a score that high before. And then look at the temperatures. 60 degrees Celsius was the max. Now to give you some comparison, my Threadripper 7970X, this is my daily driver here, seems like such few amount of cores, but on Cinebench R23, it does an amazing job, but 63,000 points is, uh, it pales in comparison. You can do a lot with 64 cores and 128 threads. That score is bonkers. So we're gonna be going over a lot with these Threadripper 9000 CPUs. So hit the like, follow, subscribe button, and uh, let's get busy.